Okay, y'all. Lynn Beck, Hannity, Limbaugh. I told you a bunch of stuff that isn't true. It's just not true. They've convinced you of some crazy things that don't bear up to reality. They've got you thinking FDR was a monster. FDR saved the United States of America. Next to George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, FDR saved the United States of America. Coming off the Great Depression, all of the deregulation is what led to the Great Depression. Deregulation. No taxes on the rich people or super low taxes. That's what led us into the downfall of the Great Depression. And they've got you thinking, no, it's the other way around somehow. Well, what you don't realize is that these people, these people, you hear the stuff they say and you think, well, it must be true. They couldn't say that on national TV and national radio if it wasn't true. You don't know America. We got something called super free speech here. I mean, we let people say anything. You got to walk up to somebody and say, I got a bomb in my pants, I'm going to kill you to get in trouble. You got to say fire in a crowded theater. Hell, over there in Germany and, and in France and Europe and all of that, if you start talking about some white supremacy or something like that, they'll lock you up. Here, we say, okay, go ahead out in the street, say what you have to say. And, you know, I don't have a problem with that for America. But we just got to get some reality here. This isn't reality. This is bullshit. This is total bullshit. I am deadly serious. They have told you things that just aren't true. What is in the best interest of the super rich people, the idea that, okay, well, they're super rich, so if you lower their taxes and let them have all the money in the world, they'll just uh, give you fantastic jobs. You know, and then also if you lower your taxes by one or two thousand dollars a year, you know, at the most, well, then you're going to get rich somehow. Yeah, right. And what are they selling all the time? Buying gold? What, what good does gold do, America? Huh? What, are you buying gold? Why don't you invest in, in, in an American company? Stocks and bonds or something like that. And, and they've told you total crap about this whole free trade thing. We're all knowing now that that was a bad idea. We're all knowing it now. And, you know, it wasn't NAFTA. Ross Perot was right about NAFTA uh, to a degree. But what he didn't see was the bigger sucking sound that took all the jobs not from South America, not from America to South America, but all the way to freaking the other side of the planet, Asia. Yeah, that's what the WTO did. And forget all this baiting on gay baiting and Jewish baiting and Israel baiting and, and every kind of baiting you can do. And, and, and I tell you what, too. It's not only, forget about it, it's not, I'm not just saying, oh, Fox and OAM radio, yeah, I mean, whatever, they do what they do, you know that. But um, I'm talking about all the big media, all the NBC, ABC, even NPR, they don't crack on this free trade stuff, they don't look out for the working man, they don't at all. They're, when it comes to money, when it comes to money, woo, they all have a lot in common, a lot in common. And the social issues, they just use that to get our minds off the game. You know, to take our eyes off the ball. Keep us confused. Because working class people do have slightly, you know, to some degree, different interests. Everybody has their own interest in how the tax code works and all that kind of thing. And working class people have their own interest in that. And I'm telling you one thing. The stuff that FDR did in terms of building and building and building our railroads and roads and stuff like that, and Eisenhower, Republican president, did, in terms of building, building, building the entire interstate expressway system, stuff Huey Long did in Louisiana, working class, I know he's got a negative connotation, but I mean, you know, he, he made enemies, but, you know, everybody makes enemies out there, it seems like. And uh, that stuff was only done because we did have higher tax rates, excuse me, on the um, on the super wealthy, I'm just talking about. Come on, please, please. This land was free when we all got here, except for the Native Americans. Yeah, so let's forget that. And come on, some people buy up some stuff, and then some people are stuck paying rent their whole life. You might pay two million dollars in rent. We have to have some regulation on the financial industry to give people a fair break. 
and when people call into Rush and Sean and you know when, 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 and Bort, when they talk to those folks, when someone calls up and says a free trade, I, I hate that. You know, notice how they never really address it. They just kind of say, yeah, yeah, you're right, but we do need trade. You know, they don't address it at all. And then they jump back to, oh my God, Obama's some kind of crazy fool who's trying to destroy America, or this or that or the other, about liberals wanting to destroy America. They want you to concentrate on that. They don't ever want to address that issue of the trade agreements and the fact that those are Republican trade agreements. And I'm not trying to start a war with China. I don't, I'm not looking for trouble. I'm just saying that we have to take care of ourselves. We have to take care of our own, uh, you know, infrastructure, uh, and not just in terms of, of, of uh, highways and rail and stuff like that, but also in terms of being able to produce enough steel and, and uh, important minerals and things like that so that we can take care of ourselves if you know what hits the fan. We have to be ready for that. And it's only natural that we should be ready for that and think in terms of that. And if you want to know who took us away from that way of thinking, it was the Republicans. I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't hate them. It's not anything like that. It's not even the social issues so much. I'm talking money. I don't care about the social issues. I, I do care about the social issues. But I just mean the money thing comes first in terms of us taking care of ourselves, having enough, you know, infrastructure, uh, taking a national security, food to eat, um, you know, money staying in the system when we produce things in this country is gigantic. It's just gigantic. Even if you pay five times the amount you might pay for sneakers or tennis shoes or t-shirts or whatever, you know, the food's going to stay the same. That's, that's in our, you know, we... we we got our food taken care of. But uh, even if you pay way more for all those other goods, guess what? All 100% of that money stays in the country if you produce the stuff in this country. And, and if you pay one-fifth and it goes to the other side of the world, well, then all that money goes to the other side of the world. And we know we get worse products and stuff like that. We get you know, stuff, I mean, heck. The, the junk that comes in now, all kinds of stuff poisoning us and making us sick and nasty drywall, just crazy stuff like that. So just think in terms of that, look at the big picture. I'm not saying these rich guys on the AM radio, Hannity and Limbaugh and them who I tore up, I'm not saying they're pure evil, but they're just looking out of their best interest, their own best interest as super rich people in the media. They're not looking out for the working person. They're not looking out for us. So let's come on and get together and realize that government is not evil. If you don't have government, you don't have a country. Make your government good. Make your country good. Now you come on now, America. You come on now and get it right. We can do it. We've been through worse than this. We've been through way worse than this. And we're not going to fall down now. But we cannot mess around and take our eye off the ball of what's important and get all into all kinds of crazy stuff. We just can't. I love you, America. I want you to listen to me. I want you to think about what I said. Y'all take care. Chip Shirley. Guess I'm out of here.